Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about Renown and more specifically we're going to take a look at the Renown rewards for the Val Draken Accord which is one of the four major factions of Dragonflight. But before we jump into all of the rewards I just want to shout out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash MrGM. If you want to see me streaming World of Warcraft, Dragonflight Launch, Rathich King Classic and more I'm over on twitch.tv slash MrGM every single day. All right, so yes, the Val Draken Accord. This is one of the four major factions, as mentioned. Uh, we have done videos on all the other three, so if you do want to check out the rewards for them, uh, you can do that. Now, the Val Draken Accord do have 30 levels of renown, but before we jump into all the rewards, let's talk about how renown works in Dragonflight. So renown in Dragonflight is slightly different to how it worked in Shadowlands. As of the launch of Dragonflight, there are four different renown factions. You have the Dragon's Coat Expedition, the Maruk Centaur, the Ascara Tuscar, and the Valdraken Accord. It's not like Shadowlands Covenants, you don't have to pick one of these factions. Uh, you gain renown for all of them. Uh, the way that renown works in Dragonflight is essentially just like reputation. For every 2,500 reputation, you gain one level of renown. This can be gained through the regular means of side quests, world quests, uh, main story quests, of course, and different activities for each of the renowned factions. It's going to be one of the major features of the expansion. However, it's not really required. It's not going to be a big gearing path. It's simply just side activities for you to do on your character uh, while doing your kind of regular PvE or PvP activities. So the Valdraken Accord are the faction of the city Valdraken. This is the main capital city of the Dragon Isles. It is located in Thaldrassus. You can just hover over in the map and it tells you your renown ranking and all of the kind of bonus events you can do uh, to gain renown. Uh, there's also this new tracker in Dragonflight where you can track the different renowns. So if you click the Valdraken Accord, the different world quests and side quests will highlight, uh, telling you which ones could give you a uh, reputation to gain your renown. So there are a total of 30 levels of renown for the Valdraken Accord. This is the same as the Iskara Tuscar, um, but the other two, the Dragon Scale Expedition and the Maruk Centaur, actually have 25. So this is one of the higher ones. Uh, but there are some really cool rewards here, and we're going to go through them right now. So at Renown 1, it is Valdraken Accord. It's simply just when you meet them for the very first time. At Renown 2, you're going to get some Dragon Isle supplies. This is not account-wide. Uh, you can see here that it shows account unlocks uh, with the Renown tree in this blue text. So once it's unlocked on one character, uh, these rewards are across all of your characters, no matter what the level of Renown is, which is really nice. So Dragon Isle supplies, you're going to get some Dragon Isle supplies from the Valdraken Accord in Valdraken. Uh, Titan Relics, these are items that drop under Dragon Isles. You can hand these in to gain renown with the Valdraken Accord. So this is a really nice way of passively leveling your reputation with the Valdraken Accord. At Renown 3, you're going to get Dragon Cooking. So this is the tea set toy. This is a cool little toy. You place it on the ground and you can use it. It gains mana. Uh, but yeah, it's just a little toy that you can get. You can also get six cosmetic dinner items. Uh, these are just from the inn in Valdraken. Uh, just, yeah, cosmetic items. There's a lot of cosmetics uh, with these renowned trees. And yeah, so you can get these kind of six different cosmetic dinner items uh, available at Renown 3. At Renown 4, we're going to get more Dragon Isle supplies. Dragon Isle supplies are used to buy pretty much everything in the Dragon Isles, uh, similar to other expansions like Legion and Battle for Azeroth. So yeah, you're going to get a lot of those as you level up and play in the end game. At Renown 5, you have the Siege of Dragonbane Keep. So this is your kind of weekly uh, activity that you can do on the Dragon Isles. I believe it's weekly anyway. Uh, this is located in the Waking Shore and it happens on a timer. It's essentially an outdoor scenario um, where you go through and you kind of siege Dragonbane Keep with different steps. You kill more NPCs, some bosses and things like that. At the end, you obviously get some reputation. You also get some items, which is really nice. Uh, so be sure to do that at least once a week. I believe it's weekly, as mentioned, and it's on a timer that you can see on the map at any given time. So yeah, Siege of Dragon Bane Keep. And again, that is Renown 5 and an account-wide unlock. Once again, at Renown 5, you're going to get even more Dragon Isle supplies. Renown 6, you're going to get more Cosmeticus. You're going to get five Cosmetic Gardening Tools. Uh, these are from the Garden of Unity outside Valdraken. Uh, some really cool appearances here. Uh, just kind of basic gardening tool appearances, which is really nice. So you can go grab those. And again, they are an account-wide unlock, which is really nice. At Renown 7, you're going to get Aerial Challenges. This is awesome. This is actually Dragon Riding World Quest. This is obviously another route of you getting uh, Valdraken Accord rep and a really fun side activity to do. Um, yeah, super cool. And that's an account wide unlock. So if one of your characters has that, you can go do that and get some extra reputation and a little bit of fun with those Dragon Riding World Quests. At Renown 8, we're going to get more Dragon Isle supplies. At Renown 9, we're going to get our first customizations for our Drakes. This is for the Cliffside Wilder Drake. This is the Plated Brow, the Split Head Horns, and the Spiked Cheek. Uh, these are going to be available from a vendor in Valdraken. 
uh, and you can buy those for your Cliffside Wildrake, which is the kind of Drake of Thaldrassus and the Thaldraken Accord. At Renown 10, you're going to get a all upgrade. Uh, so essentially, once one of your characters has hit Renown 10, your other characters will get a 100% boost uh, to their Renown uh, with the Thaldraken Accord below 10. So it's a nice little all catch up, similar to what they had in Mr. Pandaria. You're also going to get some basic cosmetic shoulder appearances, which are available uh, for all five flights. So these are really cool, really basic. We're going to see a few more of these as well that kind of go up in kind of epicness, I suppose in a sense, uh, but this is the basic one that you get at Renown 10. At Renown 11, you're going to get 25% chance to get more Dragon Isle supplies, which is really nice. At Renown 12, we're actually going to get one of your end game storylines. Uh, this is the quest line called the Silver Purpose, and this is started in Valdraken from Alex Straza. Uh, we don't know anything about these end game quest lines. They're all encrypted right now in beta, so this is going to be super exciting when we see this for the very first time once Dragonflight launches. At Renown 13, we're going to get Titan Weaponry. This is Titan-themed weapon appearances. Uh, these are available in Valdraken once again. Really great looking weapons. I love the appearance of all these Valdraken items. There's some absolutely awesome ones as well. And these are the Titan weapons, which will be available uh, for you to unlock at Renown 13. At Renown 14, you're going to get Dragon Isle Supplies. Once again, just more Dragon Isle Supplies. You're also going to get Draconic Tailoring. Uh, now, this character is a tailor, so I presume this does change depending on your profession. If not, then you get tailoring patterns, you know, why not? Uh, but yeah, you get some patterns for some things that you can get at Renown 14. Also, crafters knowledge as well, which is going to help you with your profession uh, kind of talent tree. At Renown 15, you're going to get even more customizations for your cliffside wilder drake, including the hook horns, the scaled pattern, and the spear tail. These are available from a vendor once again, uh, so you can go grab those. At Renown 16, you're going to get your first piece of gear. This is item level 376, which is about Mythic Zero-ish. I guess. Uh, this is available at Renown 16. This is not an account unlock, so this will be for your specific character that reaches Renown 16, and that again is 376 item level. At Renown 16, you're going to get the Draconid Helms. This is five cosmetic helm appearances, obviously one for each of the dragon flights, which is really nice. Uh, not the best appearance in the world, but it is, you know, available for all armor types, which is nice, uh, but that's something you can obtain at Renown 17. At Renown 18, you're going to get two battle pets. You're going to get the Crimson Proto Whelp, uh, which is a kind of a baby whelp, which I love this new model, and the Magic Nibbler. Uh, these are two battle pets which will be available at Renown 18. At Renown 19, we get another endgame questline. This is the Garden of Secrets. Yes, this is the Green Dragonflight storyline potentially pertaining to Ysera as well, but we'll see what happens with that. Again, encrypted, don't know. We'll see. Also, an upgrade to your tailoring or chosen profession, presumably. Again, not too sure on that. We'll have to see. Renown 20, you're going to get another upgrade to your alt catch-up. All of your alts below rank 10 will get 200%, and alts between 10 and 20 will get 100% increase. So a nice little catch-up for your alts there. Also at Renown 20, you're going to get the cosmetic Valdraken Civilian Cloves. These are really basic looking armor sets, which are really cool and available to all armor types as well. Obviously, it doesn't say that it is an account-wide unlock, but Transmog is account-wide. So you can go grab those at Renown 20. At Renown 21, you're actually going to get the bronze scales for all of your drakes. So these will be available uh, for all four of the Dragon Isles drakes, which is nice. The bronze scales look so cool as well. So I'm very much looking forward to unlocking that at Renown 21 for all of my drakes. At Renown 22, we're going to get another item, which is not account wide. This is item level 389, which is a really nice item level. Uh, this will be available at Renown 22 for all of your characters, all of your armor types and things like that. Uh, so yeah, go grab that. Renown 23, we're going to get the Valdraken Accord Tabard. This is a really nice Tabard, actually. It's in white. It's got all the colors of the different uh, dragon flights and stuff, which is really nice. So you can go get that at 23. Uh, also, another upgrade to your tailoring, so you can create a reagent bag, which is nice. Also at Renown 23, exclusively for Hunters, you'll be able to finally tame Dragonkin. Yeah, you'll be able to train your Dragonkin. A few creatures around the Dragon Isles, not full-on dragons, but things like Fey Dragons or kind of the Dragon Frogs, things like that, you'll be able to tame. This is a count-wide unlock, so if you have an army of Hunters, you can go and get it on those as well. So yeah, Renown 23, looking pretty good for Hunters, to be honest. At Renown 24, you're going to get an additional 25% uh, more Dragon Isle supplies, or a chance of more Dragon Isle supplies. So this is now a total of 50% and a increase to your crafter's knowledge. At Renown 25, you're going to get various cosmetic weapon appearances themed after civilian items. So yeah, torches, tomes, and bottles. There's a bunch of random, obscure transmogs available at Renown 25, and you can go grab those as an account-wide unlock. Uh, some really interesting appearances, some very basic appearances, definitely some good stuff for RPers, or someone that just wants a more basic transmog. 
At Renown 26, this is a massive upgrade to your Drakes. You can now apply armor to your Drakes. Uh, this is super cool, super great. You see this a lot on the flight paths. A lot of the flight path dragons have armor. Uh, really love the armor on the Drakes, and I'm very much looking forward to adding it at Renown 26. So yeah, we'll definitely see what happens with that. At Renown 27, you're going to get five Dragon Banner toys, one for each of the Dragon Flights, of course. Those will be available at Renown 27 to buy as a toy. Round 28 is going to be an upgrade to your tailoring or potentially chosen profession. Again, not too sure on that one. It's a bit strange. Uh, you're also going to get the elaborate dragon shoulders. This is a slight upgrade to the previous ones. This is actually 10 different shoulder appearances with two different designs. And obviously each design has a coloration of each of the dragon flights. Uh, some really cool looking items and they match the helms obviously quite nicely as well. So yeah, definitely go and pick those up. At Renown 29, you're going to get some more weapon appearances. These are some dragon themed weapon appearances. I absolutely love these weapons and there are so many of them to choose from. So you can pick up all of those if you like. Uh, obviously, if you have a character that can't obtain them, you can go pick them up because it is an account wide uh, unlock as well. So yeah, go pick those up in Valdrak and some really awesome looking weapon appearances uh, for sure. And at Renown 30, you're going to get a heroic reward. This is a primal infusion. This item is a optional reagent for crafting to create items at item item level 395 or higher and finally you're going to get the title ally of the dragons there you go that's your title. That's your final reward from the Valdraken Accord. So that's it. That is all of the rewards for the Valdraken Accord. 30 different levels. As mentioned, this is one of the higher ones. Some really cool stuff. A lot of transmog in there as well, which is really cool to see. And obviously some item rewards and kind of stuff that we've seen on some of the other things. Uh, obviously the Siege of the Dragonbane Keep is going to be your weekly activity for these guys. And of course, you're going to be doing world quests and side quests and things like that as well. So yeah, there you go. This is actually the final video of the Renown series. So if you have checked out the other three, Thank you very much. If you haven't checked them out, please do. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all of the four major factions of Dragonflight. Will we see more in the future? Time will tell. But thank you very much for watching, guys. Before I go, I'd like to give a massive shout out to our amazing patrons, YouTube channel members, and Twitch subs. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to support the channel in any of those ways, links are down below. So leave a like on this video, guys, if you'd like to, and subscribe if you haven't. I've also got a partner Discord channel with over 3,000 members. And as I said, I'm now streaming on twitch.tv slash MrGM. If you want to see me stream World of Warcraft, Dragonflight launch, Rathlich King Classic, any sort of World of Warcraft content, guys, I'm over on twitch.tv slash MrGM every single day. And with that, guys, I'll see you next time.